Just check out some different stuff. Got a little bit of a drive. And since you can't shoot at any normal time here, there's no use getting out there in the dark, so we're just gonna see what we can see. Seeing a few does. It's a start. See what happens once we get there. Maybe we'll catch a few bucks trotting around on the way there. Well, we're getting ready to head in. I'm gonna check out this area, kind of speed scout our way through. We've map scouted the spot a lot though. This is like one of the first places that we, we looked at when we were about to come here. It's just a big creek bottom, super thick down in there. So we're gonna just scout our way in. Got a couple places in mind though that if the sign is there, we're just gonna set up for the middle of the middle of the morning. So saw a few deer on the way here, nothing crazy, but these red oaks are just dropping acorns like crazy and all through this public land we can see red oaks so maybe we'll bump into them once we get in the timber. Let's hunt. We did a bunch of caffeine, it's crazy. I don't know much about bears, but... 
That doesn't look right, does it? No. Hmm. Onward. So I just got into this piece and got into the heart of it and it's looking super cool. Like pretty much exactly what we were hoping for. Finding really heavily used trails, a couple beds, a couple rubs, but we can keep searching our way around. Just got news from John Lewis mm -hmm. and son missed another and darn it. He's in a good spot, man. He's gotta just keep hunting it. It's like it's a it's a very rare case where you can just hunt a spot over and over again because it's just a major terrain funnel. I'm sure he's talked about that plenty, but got another arrow in the dirt with no blood on it. We're just gonna keep sneaking through this thicket. I mean, if we see something, we can move on it so easily through here with this wind. We just drop the packs and we'd be able to stalk anything. The key to a morning like this is use that sun to your advantage. Go with the sun at your back and listen often. When that wind picks up, it's covering your noise. Move during that time frame. But then as soon as the wind stops, you wanna listen. You may catch a grunt, you may catch a buck chasing a doe, or just general deer walking. When you do, then you can start making decisions based off that, but you can get away with being in the bedding area with these deer. You just gotta move super slow and be really particular with your movements. Well, that was a perfect example of getting stuck. I don't like when that happens. 
happens, I'm always caught. I mean, I've been stood there for like way too long contemplating how to get through that thing. And then of course, as soon as I step into a mess of crap where I can't move my arms, this can work. It's just a matter of picking your moves very specifically. The fun thing about it for me is that it's just decisions constantly and I made a bad decision to move because we got completely stuck. One of my biggest pet peeves is like knowing where your arms are because that's gonna dictate where you can get shots. You know, if you've set up or if you crouch in a spot and you're just looking through the woods, if you got stuff all around you and you can't draw that bow effectively, then you're not even in the game. I think it's an easy mistake to make. Like even right now, as soon as I sit down right here, I've got enough room to move my bow, and i got enough room behind me that my elbow's not gonna bounce off stuff. So just got caught in the wrong spot there, but I'll just keep moving up through here. I mean, there's obviously deer a foot in here. Is he falling? I think it was a doe in a pond. Mm -hmm. That one that spooked right there was a doe. I thought I saw an antler coming up through there. I was like, son of a gun, I'm so stuck. And this is gonna be the chance that one walks like seven yards and I don't give him up my arms.
pretty exciting morning so far. Found a way to screw it up again. <laughs> Maybe everything happens for a reason. Except the ones I keep missing keep getting smaller and smaller, so... I just gotta pick a really small one so I don't miss. It's about 12.30 now, and uh, the deer activity has really dropped off a lot. Um, Dill and I were just talking about it. I was planning on sitting here for as long as possible, um, but my fear with this spot is 
we kind of have just not even just like a natural pinch and where a bunch of stuff comes together but um, the red oaks have dropped a pile of acorns this fall and uh, this is like the only spot on this little on this mountain where there's a concentration of them and we've watched deer every day come up and eat them my fear is that as we get later into the evening there's a good chance we could get another shot at one but if we don't we're going to completely booger this place out and uh, what we've been doing has been working so if it's not broke don't fix it um, there's really no reason we should even be in here anymore because we should be uh, tracking <laughs> tracking a buck should have never even been in here with Don in the first place because I should have been tracking a buck the first time I sat in here this year but I don't really know what happened this morning as we were talking about it. I just, I rushed through everything and wasn't, didn't take the time to really slow myself down and, and think about what I was doing. I was more worried about where I could get a shot. And uh, I think I just punched it and didn't, didn't hold it. I just didn't follow through or anything. I just punched it and shot right over him. It was a heck of a morning out here in the, on the mountain. Um, probably saw a lot. 15 deer again, again yeah. and it was uh, it was definitely on so <coughs> sneak out of here and I'm sure you'll see us back in here in the next couple days because it's working deer aren't pressured in here at all whatever we're doing seems to be working or they don't care so might as well just keep doing it until I either run out of arrows or get one <laughs> we actually uh, Move the stand a little bit. We noticed that every day, basically, um, must not be a coincidence, but these deer are just kind of hugging the back side of this ridge using this trail right through here. So we didn't really give up a whole lot. Shooting is going to be a little more tough, but um, with our wind, we're still basically got the pinch right here and can, can drop it off the side. So we move the stand up closer to be able to shoot this trail. And we didn't have anything walked down it after we moved, but uh, I think uh, next time we get in here, we should be should be right in the chips. Everything's set up for a, for a good hunt, so we can get out of here and uh, wait for the next south wind, or might even be able to get back in here with a west wind and hunt up up higher a little bit. Uh, this is the spot, so keep hunting it until either get one or run out of arrows. Probably run out of arrows. Should I ask him if he's seen any bugs? Oh, he's, hell, he's got birds. Seen any deer? What's that? You seen any deer? I have, but there was a fellow that was parked from Vermont. It was parked there earlier. Uh huh. Um, he's gone. Now, I mean, he was going like when I got here. But I didn't get to talk to him to see if he'd see anything or not. I, I hunted this morning. I didn't see squat. We didn't either. I don't know if it's a wind. Come here, Bella. We didn't see any deer at all. Did you guys hunt? Yeah, we saw a couple does, but no yeah. no bucks. Here? Yeah, yeah. We were hunting north, way northeast, on, but still on the same ground. It's all beautiful area from here. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you from here? Uh, we live like 15 miles out. There, okay, so. cool. Uh, from Ohio originally, live in Iowa now. Iowa? What are you doing deer hunting in New York? Hey, trying something different. Challenge. My brother lives in, uh, Iowa City. Cool. Outside Iowa City, so he was up hunting all weekend. We're texting each other, you know? Yeah. And, uh, uh, but yeah, something different. I yeah. Guess. Yeah, we're having a blast. How, how can you not enjoy it? That's right. Hey, have a good one. Take care. You have a good day. Yeah, you too. Dude, this is some great A footage of this dog taking <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see what happened to Shooter. Really? Yes! <laughs> 30 yards. Shot over his back. Opposite of what I did last time. I just, I just rushed. Didn't think. Just shot. Did you get it? What? Did you get it? On film.
We weren't even up in the state. Like, I just got up. He wasn't even in the... You were on the ground? No, he was up, but he was just on his uh, lineman's belt. As, like, he was coming up. in. I was, like, trying to get my lineman's belt around on the tree. And, yeah, it was, it was pretty wild. It was wild in there today. Like, six different bucks. Yeah. Seven. Just, I mean, running everywhere. everywhere. I learned that that's probably where you should be. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like it.